For this second tutorial, we're going to look at character animation. So let's create a character. Open the menu, UI select, and let's create this SWAT character. And this is a full size SWAT character man. He's nicely textured. You'll see he has more of these red points than the tennis ball did. These are all grab points. If we grab them and move them, you can see him animate. You can grab more than one point at once, by the way. This is where the fun comes in. You can actually pose him however you'd like, and he will move more or less as you'd expect. Now, personally, before I get animating, I'd rather a change of location. I've been looking at this one level for over 100 hours while I've developed this. So let's change the scene. To do that, click the menu button, UI, and come down to the scenes option. Now we have a number of options here. Demo scene is the scene we're currently in. Green scene is like a worldwide green screen. Everything is green. Space scene is like a space nebula. In fact, let's have a look at that. Looks pretty nice. Table wall is an experimental scene I'm trying things out with. Desert mountain. It's a big landscape. And dojo scene. This is the one I want. It's like the uh, dojo from the Matrix. So for this character animation, I want him swinging a sword. So let's create a sword as well. Come to items and make a katana. That seems fitting. Grab tool. And grab it. Now you'll see that the katana only has one point. It's on its handle there. We can move this around like so. We can take a close look at it. Not too shabby. Now, you probably can't see this, but there are red boundaries popping up for me. That's because I'm close to my, my walls. I can't animate in this space right now, so how do I get around that? By pulling in on the grip buttons, you'll see a sphere appear. That's a teleport sphere. Point over here and pull the trigger. Now you're here. So now you can reposition yourself, find a better place to, to, uh, to animate with. This is nice, now I've got some nice room. So, let's get started with the character animation. We'll create the first pose. We'll do like a... Uh, a slash. A draw slash. So he'll draw his sword and slash at the same time. Now I'll select the spot character, go to timelines, and add a keyframe. Do the same for the katana. Now, as the character, as the SWAT guy swings with his hand, the katana won't move. The katana is a separate object. So we would have to animate that with the model. We'd have to animate that separately. Or we can take advantage of a feature called pinning. To do so, we open our menu, go to Timelines, come down to this Event button, and click on there. Now you'll see two buttons on this row here, Pinned To and New. We want to hit New. Doing so will hide all the red circles. It'll also hide the camera and the viewfinder, for the most part. You'll now only be able to interact with these pin points. So we want his sword to be in his right hand, so we'll just Hover over and click with the trigger. Now all the points are back, blue points are gone. If we grab his hand now and move, he's now holding the sword. This makes things a lot easier because now instead of animating two things at once, you're just doing one. Restart, and there's his pose. So we'll select the spot character again. He'll hold this pose for a second. 
and then he'll slash. Now, the slash is going to be quick, so we'll go to keyframe 1, change the length to, let's say, 0.4. That seems fast enough. Now, you'll notice that we've already made keyframe 2, and it's in this pose here. I want that pose to be a slash. I, in my haste, I accidentally made it twice. So to change this, we can actually come to Edit and go to Edit Pose. This will turn his icon blue, and it means he's now open for manipulation. So let's grab and move him forwards and move like so. Standing on his toes there. And that's looking good. Now we hit Edit Pose again. It turns green. And if we click on this timeline, on this keyframe, you'll see that he doesn't change. That's his new pose. Go to the frame before and hit Play. And he does a slash. Now, while we were in the Event button, you might have noticed something. There's a lot more options in here than there was for the ball or the katana. These use Unity's animator component, and they will actually animate his hand pose. I'll get more into these types of events that are possible in the content creation tutorial. But for now, what I want to do is I want him to hold that sword with his hand. So he wants, we want to make almost like a fist. To do so, we'll look for his right hand, or we'll use all left, right. Fist. We'll set that to true. Come to timelines and click. Now he has a fist. Looks like he's holding the sword. Come to keyframe one, frame zero, hit play. He pauses for a moment, then slashes out. Pretty cool. Now we haven't done anything with the camera yet, so let's do that. We'll grab the camera. Move it over here. If you find it will move here. I'm gonna move myself to get a better view. Alright, so pose one. Let's move the camera, say there, and we'll key create a keyframe. Go to the SWAT guy, keyframe 1. He hasn't moved, so we'll, like, we'll just move this camera to here, actually. Oop. Do that again. If we hit play now, we'll see the camera move for a strike. In fact, I'm going to edit that pose and move it a little closer. And then I'll make a new keyframe so I can scrub through and see what's happening. So I want this pose to here so it has some motion. Right about there, I want to hit, I want to put a keyframe right here to start a new animation, to start a new motion. To do so, if I hit this V button here, it will add a keyframe right there. There's a couple bugs. It's still a, you know, still early days with a couple bugs left over. This keyframe will be put exactly between these two keyframes at the you know appropriate time. So now We see that it maintains the animation between there as well. So we can go to three, we can edit U and something like that. In fact, let's make that quicker by shortening this keyframe to about point three five. Pretty good. I'm gonna save that. And then I'm going to render it out. 
So there we go, we've rendered a character, attached a sword to his hand, moved the camera and animated that. From here, it's up to you. You could add new characters, particle effects, weapons, you can load new scenes. Workshop support means you can add your own objects and, and characters in. Or your own levels. It's up to you. For the next tutorial, we're going to be covering the content creation side of things. If you're interested in that, I'll see you then. Otherwise, I hope you have fun.